So we're pulling up to the Win Stanley pictograph, and if you look up ahead, there is a ledge along the shoreline with a steep rock. And one thing pictographs have in common in Southeast Alaska, and a pictograph is basically just a painting on a rock. So almost all the pictographs uh, face southeast. So you, it's a southeast facing rock because it's uh, most likely to get sun exposure and be dry. So it's a good place to be painting. Uh, the rock tends to almost overhang a little bit so that it, that it ends up being, you know, also a little protected from the rain so that it uh, makes a good dry canvas. And then the other thing that they have in common is there's usually a ledge. And if you think about it, a good place to uh, get up and paint something on a rock, you want a ledge to stand on. So you could pull a canoe right up to this one up here. And there's this nice ledge that you can do a painting. The paint that they painted with was uh, basically an oil-based paint. And what they'd use for pigment is red ochre, so it's a red crushed rock for the pigment. The oil was basically salmon eggs, so salmon eggs are very fatty. So that you'd mix that together and then uh, they would also put urine in and that would kind of help set the pigment. So this one is a uh, sun and you know, we don't know the exact story behind it and um, you know, it's kind of mostly known to the people that, that painted it. There is some people that say that this is the, the path to the sun. So there, there is a sun pictograph and there's various dots that go after it. And there's another pictograph further up in along the Eunuch River that also has a sun and less dots. And if you think about it, like coastal southeast Alaska is very rainy and you get on the other side of the, the coastal mountain range and it's a very sunny, you know, drier, drier climate. And so because of the Ooligan fish trade here, um, Ooligan is a small fish with, you know, produces a lot of oil. They, uh, the folks that lived around here, the native folks, they would uh, trade that oil to the folks that lived on the other side of that coastal range. And so they, you know, they were called grease trails. So there's all these trade trails. So there is some like speculation that this was almost a, um, a sine way in how many days of travel. But again, that's, that's, that's uh, a little bit of speculation, so.